Hi everybody, it's uh, Momo Karen, and today I was going to check in with you and make a, a video. I'm going to try to do the tag that was started by um, Glitzy Fritzy, or Mary, and then I think Mary Ellen After 60 also did the tag, and I, uh, the title of the tag is uh, Fritziness in Elementary School, and basically I think what you're supposed to do is tell stories about some of the silly things that you did when you were in, in grade school uh, and some of your experiences. Well, let me start by saying I'm the youngest of four children and my older brother went to the same elementary that I did and then the other two had gone to another one that had closed down by the time I started school. It was a country school. And so um, some of the stories will have have something to do with my, my older brother. But um, when I started school, there wasn't kindergarten. Actually, I think it started the year after I went to first grade. Um, and in first grade, I can't remember a whole lot. I had an old teacher, or I thought she was old. And I think she was retiring that year. And her name was Mrs. Crow. And I was scared to death of her. I just hated her because she would be fr mean to my friend Pam. And I remember I don't know what Pam had done, but she had spanked her hands with a ruler, and oh, that had just hurt her feelings, and I just never did like her after that, and I would have nightmares about her, and people would ask me what my teacher's name was, and I couldn't remember. I'd say something like chicken bones. Her name was Crow, so <laughs> that tells you. I was, I was afraid of her. Uh, I wasn't didn't want to get in trouble. I definitely didn't want to get in trouble by her. And in second grade, I had a, a teacher, and she had twins that year, and we just thought that was the, the coolest thing. And she would bring them to school. They were little girls, and uh, we would see them from time to time, and that was really, really neat. But one of the stories that happened there is we were, we were putting on a um, Christmas play, a musical, for the older kids. And my brother, I think I was, like I said, I was in second, and I think he was in fifth grade um, and we were the little kids in second grade we were playing the musical bells and uh, somebody played their bell when they weren't supposed to and she thought it was me and so she made me sit on the piano bench beside her during the whole program and oh I was humiliated and I went home and I told my mother and I cried and I cried and I cried and she called the teacher that to tell her how upset I was and you know to this day I'm not really sure if I if I um, rang that bell or not I don't think I did but I could have but I have never forgotten that in third grade we had this this teacher and I really didn't like her and I thought we all thought that she was having an affair with the principal and the principal had a wife that taught at the school and had little kids so we even at third grade we thought she was terrible i really not sure that she did have an affair but we really did not like her and in fourth and fifth grade i had the same teacher because we were in a split class and i had her and she'd had my brother and she would talk about his handwriting how terrible it was and that he was really a good student and smart but his handwriting was awful and every time I would turn in a paper she would say oh your handwriting is so much better than Randy's you know she'd talk about how terrible his handwriting was and that's really the only thing that I remember we had a girl that moved in too and she'd gone to a city or not a city because we lived I lived in a you know, a town that was about 20,000, but she'd gone to a, a town school, and I was out in the country, and oh, she was awful and was in trouble all the time, and that teacher, she she earned her money that year, but we used to talk about her all the time. Ooh, I'd go home, and I'd tell my mom, you'll never believe what Kathy so-and-so did today. I mean, she was just something else. That, it was it was something else. I, I just remember thinking how, I guess she was a little bit like Mary Ellen, you know, what was it? bold and brazen because oh she was in trouble all the time let's see in sixth grade oh the <laughs> only thing that i really remember doing is i broke my ankle playing football with the boys uh at my cousin's house and so we, our classroom was, was upstairs and i would have to walk up the stairs backwards i don't know why but i had crutches but i don't know why i guess it was easier they were real steep 
stairs and I, I remember doing that and then I remember I had also had a walking cast on at the end before it was I got the cast off and <laughs> I was jumping rope and my class one of the teachers came out and said hey are you supposed to be jumping rope with a broken ankle and I said well my mom didn't tell me not to <laughs> And I don't know why I did that because I had two aunts that worked at the school, so it wasn't like they weren't going to go tell on me right away. Um, so I, I've never forgotten that story. And I also remember one time I th it was Brownie Day, the day that we went to Brownies. And back in the day, you wore your uniform, and you know you had your little sash with with the badges that you'd earned and all that stuff. And I fell in a water in a mud puddle, and my mom was at home, and so I couldn't get a a fresh change of, cl of clothes so um, I remember I think I had to wear, wear some boys underwear that they had at school <laughs> and I, I've never forgotten that and then of course my mom washed them and I had to take them back to school but I wore I remember wearing boys underwear that's really all I remember about that other than being embarrassed about that I don't think anybody ever knew it but other than me that that was kind of a funny story um, Oh, and I'll go on up to seventh grade because that's the only other really f couple of funny stories that I remember. Um, in seventh grade, I liked this boy. and You know, we had different, hour, every hour we changed classes. And so it was seventh grade science. And this, our teacher was from Czechoslovakia. And uh, I liked this boy. And I think he might have liked me too because we would arrange, some, arrange somehow to meet back in the back of the um, classroom and throw trash away at just the same you know time so we could kind of see each other well I guess the teacher got tired of that and he brought the trash can up to the front of the room and made me and this boy stand nose to nose for the whole class period oh and you know I was I wasn't shy shy but a little bit I was humiliated and so embarrassed it was funny but Oh, I, I had to go home that day and tell my mom because I knew she'd hear about it before long and then, I, you know, she'd be asking me about it. But I've never, I've never forgotten that. And another thing that I did with that same teacher is um, if you would take a lick with a paddle, you could leave five minutes early from school that day because it was a seventh hour class. And boy, people were doing it all the time. They were taking a lick and so they could leave early, you know. You couldn't do that nowadays. There'd be all kinds of trouble. But um, I just couldn't get my nerve up to do it because I had never had a spanking. Only thing I'd ever had was I had one eighth hour for talking in study hall. And I deserve that. But that's the only time I really ever got in trouble. I was, you know, I, I didn't want my mom and dad to be mad at me. I was the youngest kid. I'd already seen all the crap they'd had to put up with the older kids, especially my two brothers. Not my sister, but my brothers. They gave them hell sometimes but anyway um so I, like i said i've been trying to get my nerve up to take this stupid lick so i could leave five minutes early at the end of the school day and so i finally did it and i got to leave early well i rode a stinking bus so it wasn't like i was getting to go any place and then i got out there and i thought man you are so dumb and I, i'll never forget that thinking that was goofy but I guess that's about all the fritziness that I can think of. Um, some of my stories, are, to me, I guess are funny. I don't know if you'll think they're funny or not, but I had some good times in school. Um, I was a pretty good kid. I didn't want people to I didn't call my parents. I didn't want to be in trouble. I didn't want to cause them any more trouble, you know. So, and then in the odd, after all that, I ended up being a teacher and worked in education for 31 years. <laughs> it's funny how things go. Well, I just wanted to check in with you all. Um, sorry the lighting's not so great in here, but uh, this is about the only place I could find that it's quiet. Um, my husband and I are childless for a whole week. Our grandchildren are all on vacation um, with the other side of the family. And so we're not going to have any kids for a whole week, and I don't know if we're going to know what to do. We've just been sitting around kind of looking at each other. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, what's left of it, and a good upcoming week. And thanks again for watching, and y'all take care. Bye-bye. I can never see that button. I'm sorry.